This podcast is brought to you by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is the world's best stock media service offering video, audio, and images with very affordable subscription plans. Their library is always getting bigger. They have over a million high-quality, royalty-free assets. So you stand out. You look professional. And with Storyblocks Unlimited All Access Plan, you get unlimited downloads of everything in the library so you can try out multiple options and find the perfect fit for whatever you're making. Perfect stuff for parody. So learn more and subscribe today at storyblocks.com slash Neebs. That's storyblocks.com slash Neebs. Thank you, Storyblocks. Hey everyone, welcome to Neebs Cast. Yeah, what it is. Mm. I tried to come in with a lot of energy, but I well, I could have done better. I don't know. Yeah, uh, do it again. Try, try, try one, another. Try one, one more yeah. time. Okay. Go ahead. You got all the d- time in the world. Really. All right. Let me let me muster some up. Hey everybody, welcome to Neebs Cast. You should probably mm, calm it down a little bit. Probably okay. Calm it down a little bit. Let's get right to the point. Okay. We're pregnant. Whether you want to say oh. it, yes, mm-hmm. we're having three babies, yep. all different races, different ages, too. Mm-hmm. Potato mm-hmm. babies. Yes. Well, whether it be why we're addicted, that was one potential title, because it's true. I feel like we're addicted to uh, Among Us. Yeah. Everybody loves the game. Yeah. And we've been for good reason, for great reason. And we've been streaming it now. How many weeks in a row? This will be Mm -hmm. uh, tonight will be probably the fourth night in a row. Yeah. If we play it tonight, which we should. We should play it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be the fourth fourth night in a row. row. And really the only game that I could remember, I've never played it throughout the entire stream pretty much. Well, just one game. Just like yeah. usually we switch from game to game to game. We start this usually, at eight, yeah. And I mean, we, we, we certainly have played all night of some game like GTA races, stuff like that. But yeah, you usually we'll play something, then an hour and a half in we'll get bored and it's like, all right, let's play something else. Yeah. Not so far, not so with Among Us. It'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. We'll yes. be like, ah, oh, let's play something else. But yeah, right now, Among Us is our uh is our crack. I guarantee we haven't played uh, any game four stream nights in a row. Maybe not even three. Mm, now that's uh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's I, true. I I bet you're right. And I would also challenge the whole G. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's very very rare that we've done GTA races all night, right? It's gonna have I'm to sure go back and have. watch them all. I'm go sure back and watch have. them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. We've for got it. a lot of work to do. But fun. Fun. What is it about Among Us that's so darn fun? Simplicity. Yes. Oh, yeah. The interaction with the people each time. The way we do it. If I had to type this nonsense. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. It's oh like, no, uh, yeah. I couldn't do. I couldn't do that either. It's no. like, I want to be playing with people on mic, you, you, so you can yell at each other, talk to each other, Absolutely. point fingers. That's the way to do it. Yep, yeah. yep. And and I have to learn to to stop making noises when I die. And uh, <laughs> you give it away. Yeah. I don't mind it. It no. doesn't give away that, doesn't that give much, away. but uh-huh. it does give away a decent amount because if you're with somebody, like but here's my here's my take on it. Well, listen, like, let me hear the I one like the point. immersion. I just want to make the one point, though. Okay. If I say <clears throat> off scene and Dora is with. But Thick, I wouldn't know that unless no. I'm, unless you said he was with you. Yeah. Or I somehow knew or it. Or if the three of you or three people are together, you heard me die and there's only one other person there. That guarantees that you know who that person is. You well, know the that, person that's, there. That's you a, saw what happened. That's a dumb saboteur is what it is. Yeah. Well, the saboteur has no idea that you three might be in the same area together when they killed me. I don't know if it I didn't am... seem to affect us at all. I don't understand. Uh, what I'm saying makes perfect sense. I don't know because it's never bothered me either. I'm cutting a video right now where uh-huh. Absaro's with Dora. You hear me die. And Absaro and Dora can both say for sure that they are not it. And yeah. there's only one other person playing. Now they know. They well, both yeah, vote that's that person the game. out. I yeah, know, well, but it's got to be Neves. But they would and I are together. Yeah, they, and that's wouldn't know that, conversation. But they wouldn't know that if I didn't make the noise. That's yes, the point. Yeah. Good point, sir. Now let me oh, explain I what I like saying. about it. Well, no, because we know you died <laughs> yeah. anyway. You're the one who comes up dead. He t- he got to say his. It piece. doesn't. No, right. it doesn't come up piece. dead until until you go to the meeting. It doesn't okay. come up dead. Okay. Can I please say what I like about it? We yes. don't have enough time in this podcast, Neebs. We got to yeah, move on. Oh, jeez. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> what is this? A presidential debate? You got 50. Here, hey, real quick on the presidential debate. Yeah. Here's what bugs me. Okay. Um, bugs. Not the bug on the head? They, they'll say, can I just respond to what he or she said? Is there? Okay, you know what? You got 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. All right. I want to thank you 
for that 15 seconds because <laughs> it's important to me right. to say what I was thinking. You've the, already the, wasted no, we've talked about time. It. The format of these debates is a joke yes. in, All right. in, in this day and age. All right. Back to Among Us. Um, <laughs> I like the immersion. Like if I was on this tiny ship with 10 people or whatever, yeah. and I heard someone scream, I go, oh, I think you know, like it's kind of, to me, more realistic. Like I, that was Simon. I heard Simon scream. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, I, I get what you're saying, but I, I agree more with Simon because, yeah, it's if you're in the situation when there's three of you left, it's another clue. It, it's yeah, but it, it's, it's, a it's a dead giveaway. It's a dead clue. It completely it's a annihilates. Dead giveaway but I'm okay with not. sacrificing that. Okay, for and the I, fun and I, of it. And see, that's that's uh, if if you're the guy trying to be sneaky, you get fucked. In that I know how we counter yep. it. Here's how we counter it. How? Um, okay. At random times, uh, any or all of us just make uh, death noises for no reason. <laughs> yeah, and you we... know what? The death noise doesn't happen <laughs> all the we time. Do that no, the it podcast. doesn't. It does yeah. not happen all the time. You're right. So the the fact that it happens every now and then is like ah that he he reacted because I still reacted. Could screw, it could screw the guy being the imposter. It could be, but. Sometimes life throws a curveball at you. Okay, well, sucks sucks when you get hit by the curveball is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a just a game. <laughs> There's no money on the line. No, it's true. All right, I got yeah, a question then. Oh, go ahead, Thick. Did you have oh, something else? Oh, what I was going to say is I'm hardly ever the imposter. And but when I am, I think the greatest feeling in the world to me right now in my life is when I'm just Walking some by and I effortlessly just off them and I'm oh, and I'm yeah. still walking. I'm like, yeah, when you're not passing, yeah, yeah. still on my way doing <laughs> absolutely, things and such. absolutely. <laughs> you just knife them in the hallway. Yeah. So wonderful. Yeah, I don't even stop to acknowledge last week's stream, which in real life is two streams ago. I played all night except for like 30 minutes that I had to leave. I wasn't the imposter once. So disappointed. It's so yeah. much fun being the imposter. That's gotta stink. I, I've got to bring up then just for yeah. more uh, conversation about among us um anything you guys can think of that would make i mean this it's beautiful in its simplicity it obviously works everybody enjoys it is there anything that you could think of that might make it better well the way we do it is making people talk always makes it better no i'm talking about the game itself the game itself got it yeah like the core i mean they could add more levels uh you know i mean that's just simple stuff like, like that's the thing the core game is so simple and beautiful yeah you don't want to change that too much the one thing i thought um, of and i brought it up was um if as the saboteur if there was some way maybe you had to do a a couple i don't know things on the ship that would allow for you to do it but if you could for uh, make yourself look like uh, one of the crew members for like I don't know thirty seconds or something. Like, Ooh, like a little like a power pickup or yeah, something that allows you to shape shift. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. All of yeah. a sudden, Simon's blue and his name says Abstro. <laughs> whatever but the then case, it switches but back. If you're seen in the camera yeah. or whatever the case, um, I don't know. I thought that'd be a fun little twist. That, that's a good idea. I like that. Or you're fuzzed out in the camera. I like that too. Like a power up makes it so that you're blurry in the camera, so you can still figure out who it is. Yeah. But you have to be, so, you know, yeah. something very you can see simple. Giving the giving the imposter some advantages. Yeah, here a and couple there. little yeah. things. Make it a little bit more fun for the imposter. And you know that that's something that they've they weigh out so much the you know well apparently like uh the the team that made it's only a three person team that made that game and that yeah. game came out 3 years ago yeah. that's amazing great and Good they were them. working on a sequel but this one became so popular they were there like all right screw it let's just keep dumping money into this one and all of our ideas for the sequel we'll just keep putting into the first one god how right. happy are those so, guys right now god yeah they got to be on cloud 9 so I mean, god damn. great yeah. good for them three guys and the amount mm -hmm. of i know the amount of copies they've sold oh, i'm sure god. now it's going to be it's on phones and pc right now i'm sure it's going to be on ps4 switch xbox i mean that's going to that's going to eventually make it way, its way to those platform, platforms well actually i'm on a i'm on a an among us uh, fandom wiki here and let me see the team was also planning to launch the game for consoles such as playstation 4 xbox one but found a problem in implementing player communication as text or voice chat seemed to be useless mm. um, oh yeah text text chat there would be tougher additionally sure. this says among us took six months to enter open beta and six months to exit from open beta and that's the way to make a game I think I brought this up to you guys. I don't remember when, but um, the stats on like, because uh, you know, as far as the budget of that compared to a AAA title, yeah, because like uh, Fall Guys being obviously a huge uh, streaming yeah. hit and whatnot, I'm sure it's still doing just fine on stream too. But 
Among Us came in and probably knocked it down a few notches, huh? But the stats oh, yeah. on uh, Fall Guys had the highest earning PC launch of any PC game since Blizzard's Overwatch yep. release, and uh, with uh, of 185 million for Fall Guys. So I can only Among Us is probably going to be pushing some numbers too, you know. Among Us has the uh, like when you create a local lobby or whatever. Yeah. You have a code and you just yes. send the code to your buddies. I love that. When yep. we do our streams, it's you know we have people popping in all the time, mm-hmm. rotating yep. out. It's awesome. It blew my mind. Fall guys didn't have that right from the start. Yeah. Like, especially yeah. with the amount yeah, of players absolutely. that you can have in one match. Didn't hurt them at all though. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know it didn't. Hurt, I know it didn't hurt them, but it was like shit. It is mind blowing uh, because their market. I mean, their marketing was so like streamer intensive yeah. like they basically uh, they gave codes to like every fucking streamer on the planet right check out our game check out our game check out the beta they really pushed that angle and i think mm-hmm. that helped them a lot yeah but yeah by pushing that angle you think they would have sort of something built in that says all right, all right we're going to give you something that'll allow your community members to jump in this game with you i, I haven't had any desire to play it no in a while because of because, that yeah exactly oh yeah you want to be able to freaking play with your friends i wanted to see where among us and fall guys were at right now as we're speaking on Twitch right now, Among Us has 120,000 viewers watching, and Fall Guys has 211,000 viewers watching. Wow! Wow! So, and, oh. and I'm sure that's dependent on you know the. That's a snapshot, I mean, though. Yeah, that's that's a very quick snapshot, and yeah. it's it's 2 p.m. right now, Eastern Standard Time, as we're recording. So, I guess a a better snapshot might be later in the evening, but. And and which streamer is you know, you might have some huge streamer right. streaming Fall Guys right now, but it, the fact that the you know they're both pretty simple games, especially Among Us. Like congratulations to those those guys for making a very simple yeah. game that's doing very well now. Yeah, mm-hmm. love it. I, I I see a lot of game companies copying that formula. Oh, with them, like, even the AAA guys getting in on that 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 kind of werewolf or yeah, you know, that one one guy's the imposter uh-huh. trying to survive amongst all the. Yeah, so I see more games like that coming. So that's it. That's why I forget because we played Werewolf and that was the first time I ever played a game like that. I loved Werewolf during uh, uh what was that? Austin RTX RTX, RTX. RTX. Yeah. So. That's one of the reasons why I guess I freaking love it so much because I love talking your way through shit and mm-hmm. trying to figure out people. It's so yeah. much and we love fun. to argue. Yeah, no, it's perfect for us. So much fun. <laughs> I, I don't think I have the time, but part of me wants to do an Among Us song. So, mm. but I would want the fans to pick the genre. So it'd be like rock, pop, country, Polka. or uh, hip hop. So, so if I were to make it. In, in the comment section, let me know what you would want. Um, the okay. reason why I don't have time, as and many of you may notice, that we have a new animated series out. Oh, I'm rocking him. Take that. Hey, hey, knock it off. Huh? That's Absaro. Stop throwing, throwing rocks at me. Oh, wait. Wrong guy. Sorry. All right, he's middle spawn. Okay. All right, he's moving left. Now he's moving center. 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 Oh, there he is. Nice. Got him. Good job. <laughs> you get one chance here. If you win, then you won. If you lose, then you didn't win. Oh, why the hell aren't we talking about that? We're oh, yeah, talking we're... about it now. Yeah, about but that, that could yeah. that could have been the feature though. But anyway, you're right. <laughs> it's we'll out. Feature that next time. Yeah. 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 What a great week of content on our channel. Oh right? my. Oh my. Look at us. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I've been busy with, and I didn't want to hype it up. I didn't want to like start teasing it all over the place, all these social things like months well, ahead you, or whatever. Why'd you put it on a billboard right outside of town? Thick. Yeah. yeah was, I saw just, that. Yeah. But there was like no roads. <laughs> it's just on a yeah. random billboard by a farm. Says, See, it's on every billboard in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right above all the homeless camps. Half of it's just thick saying, I get kills. And then the other thing, it's weird. It's weird that you put money into that. Isn't that weird in LA where people like buy billboards? Yeah. It'll be like, Sarah, the actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, last time we were in L.A., we had an idea to to make a billboard that says meet here on this date and just see what happens. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. It'd be a cluster. <laughs> Woo. Yes. It's a terrible idea. Oh, no. Oh, these, days. Great idea. <laughs> these days. That's a yeah, great now, idea. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, now would definitely. Yeah, don't do that now, Jeez. please. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, nah, the billboard industry is going strong in Los Angeles. I'll tell you that. They still like it for some reason. Didn't the uh, the room wasn't that a huge part of um, when they made that 
movie or uh, what's his name? Steve Zissou or not? Whatever. Tommy Wiseau. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy with Steve Tommy Zissou. Zissou. Yeah. I don't know who the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> he should be a new character on one of our shows. <laughs> Steve Zissou. Oh, but Zissou, that's from uh, Life Aquatic. Life Aquatic. Life Aquatic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, oh, but wasn't that a big part of what he did was get one of like the main billboard? Though, like, there's this one particular billboard that Could've everyone been. fucking sees in Hollywood or something. Yeah, it's probably the one on um, Sunset. Yeah, Crescent it's Heights. Something like that. I'm pretty sure that there was cool. the room, <laughs> the movie, you know, back when it came out or back when it was made. Um, he got that sucker. <laughs> and, and nobody knows, like, what? Where what? does this guy get his money? <laughs> yeah. I think that's... Was that ever answered where his money comes from? No, in, sh- in roundabout ways, but no, not really. Yeah, I'm curious because uh, I watched the Disaster Artist, and yeah, that's kind of, at the end of that movie is just like we still don't know where the money's coming from. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's what I want to know more than anything. Like, where's this dude getting his fucking cash? Yeah. Who's yeah. the dude? What what dude made Life Aquatic? Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau made. You're uh, tearing me apart, Lisa. Wait, it's a Life Aquatic? No, no, you <laughs> damn. I'm talking about where Life Aquatic. You? I'm talking about Life Aquatic. Well, we're not. <laughs> we're not. Oh, that was Wes about Anderson. The room. Oh, you're telling me that's who got that billboard? I didn't yeah, fucking know yeah. that. I was very confused. <laughs> wow. What do you What have you been doing do you for mean, the last wow, two minutes? I've been paying attention to a story you had to go to the that store. It, it went off the rails. There was a story <laughs> went off the rails. I got a little bit confused. It didn't. We were all on the same page. Well, yeah, but but within within like twenty seconds, you were talking about one movie, then went to another, and I just missed the transfer. That's I, I was wrong on the name just because there were similar last names. So. Okay. We got back on track, and, and there you were a lot of silly names there. being thrown out. I could see how you can get confused. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're good. We're all on the same page now. It's great. Going back to the animated series, mm-hmm. duty um, calls. Duty calls. I like that. I really like that theme song. By the way, thank you. Good job on that. Thank, thank yeah. you very much. That was that was my uh, danger zone ish type Ooh. song. I, I, I was inspired it's silly. by it's got a fun the logins. Sound. But yeah, had had a lot of fun doing this. It was my first time show running an animated series. I mean, I did the uh, Apex thing, but that was just like one. We didn't we didn't really commit to that. And had we, it might have done fairly well. But this was a, a really awesome experience, like learning experience for me and, you know, working with an animator. And then I get to bounce stuff off you guys, which I hope I've been open to your feedback, because sometimes we get very, oh, no, this is my project. Don't touch it or, you know. I feel like everything I've thrown out, you've you've embraced. Yeah, yeah, you're very open. I'm I'm trying not to be a piece of shit. Just recording normal. the other night, even <laughs> that was all that that turned into a a good thing because of how we uh, brainstormed. So it was exactly. off of your core script, and then we took it from there, like we do. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. like the olden days. Yeah. The olden days. Because what people may not know is like a lot of times we come in with an idea and we all collaborate and make it happen this ha- with animation at least like Duralius that happened and mm-hmm. mob squad and battlefield friends and i've always thought that our best stuff comes from cap- collaboration from all of us oh, just yeah, putting absolutely. it all together so i wanted to be open and to sometimes that sometimes by though- accident yeah yeah, yeah that's absolutely. the best part of the yeah yeah it's and one I of my favorite wa- parts do- of it actually i do want to give out a shout out to chase sutterth the animator because we're not animating this mm-hmm uh, I don't want us to animate anything that we don't want to animate, uh, but I don't know if you hear my dog in the background. No. No. Oof. no. That's just me. What's he saying? Oof. I'm sure uh, we're fine. I think everyone I don't can handle a little dog in the background. <laughs> Food. <laughs> I thought I heard a dog in the debate yesterday. I know. I thought it was a puppy or someone sneezing. Don't hear something barking? Uh, yeah. No, I didn't watch it. Oh, yeah. Anyways, Chase Sutter is the animator. And, Chase did a uh, great did, job on the first episode. He did episode. a great job. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's got thick skin, meaning that I can say whatever I want to him, and he's just he just kind of laughs it off. I've called him a piece of shit several times, there and he's go. good with it. Probably is a piece of shit. Kind of reminds the me of Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. It's our a good, editor, hostile work environment. Yeah, our editor, yeah. Jack, who is, he's the ghost. Oh, laid back Jack? <laughs> laid back Jack. Jack. He's yep. the ghost. Everything goes right through him. He doesn't care. I mean, yep. we. Shit. In the best way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He also yeah. murders people like for Don't. money. All right, Simon. No, no, Simon. <laughs> so All right, they guys. Call him the ghost. Thanks for listening. We got a yeah. <laughs> second hand. No, we just started, man. We can't wrap it up yet. No, no. No, we no. We have so much to talk about. Mm-hmm. But one thing with this animation that we could do, I mean, this opens up other 
opportunities for more animation. So, oh, yeah, because these characters... They can go anywhere. They could be in any game, anywhere. Yeah, it's weird. They are basically our art characters yeah. transplanted into Call of Duty. But yeah, we could just kind of transplant that look onto anything. Yeah, and an picked, MCN you know. doesn't own them. Exactly. <laughs> so yes. all, so for everybody who's missing out on Battlefield Friends, I mean, that's that's been a long time ago, and I know we've addressed it, but you know that's owned by somebody else, kind of technically, and it, right. there's still a bit of a gray area, but in this situation... This is ours. This is ours. And don't worry about it going anywhere. And if you got, yeah, if you guys dig it, you know, I mean, we don't usually, obviously we're talking about, but yeah, freaking uh, let us know, share the shit out of it, all that stuff, you know, we, we need yeah. to know. And now a message from our National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. We all know it could be a little frustrating, especially if you're in a hurry to find yourself at a railway crossing waiting for a train. I grew up on Long Island, Long Island Railroad all the time. I knew better, but some of you out there might think, oh, if the signals are going and the train's not even there yet, you might feel tempted to go and sneak across the tracks. Well, stop right there. To the naked eye, trains often appear to be further away and moving slower than they are, and they can't stop quickly. Even if the engineer hits the emergency brakes right away, it could take a train over a mile to stop. By that time, it's too late, and the result is potentially deadly. So, the point is... You can't know how quickly the train will arrive. The train can't stop quickly, even if it sees you. It ends in disaster. If the signals are on, the train is on its way, and you just need to remember one thing. Stop. Trains can't. Thank you, Nitsa. Oh, we Man, were going to talk was, about... Go ahead. Go ahead. I would say, I, uh, you know, we're always keeping our ear to, ear to the ground, checking out what games are coming out. And I was on Steam today, and I saw a new game piqued my interest called Void Train. And Neebs, you watched this trailer with me. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. It looks like a mix of, well, it's like Raft, you're on a train, but it's an interdimensional train. You're going through these portals oh, into these I'm crazy in. worlds. I'm already in. Yeah, go take a look at the trailer. I'm just, looking uh, at it right now. It looks am... interesting. And I guess you're kind of tethered to this train. You can uh, jump off it, but you're in kind of a floaty space. And so you jump out there to grab materials. So that's kind of, I guess in Raft, you would throw a tether out to pull materials in. It's kind of the same concept, but it's very pretty. I don't know, just a cool, a cool idea for a survival game. Just you're on a train, and yeah, you're going through these interdimensional fucking crazy portals. I love, I love how wild the idea is. I'm waiting for the yeah. train to leave in this trailer. It's I'm watching the trailer, trailer as well. Too. Yeah, me too. But it's Boy, like, train. It's like Salvador Dali made a train <laughs> game. Yeah. The, listen, I guarantee you there was hallucinogenics involved in this concept. Without a doubt. Might have been. Oh, and they're shooting. Yes. Yeah. No, that's the other thing. It's like it seems very action oriented. I was like, oh, Thick's gonna like that. It's got oh, the pew pew. Yeah. Thick could do Grapple like a gun. There's a shark. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, excited uh, uh, like a stupid little kid. interdimensional oh, shark. Yeah. Yep. I'm in on this. This looks yep. great. I'm surprised they didn't go with like a zeppelin or something. The train's cool because it's just so weird. Well, maybe yeah. you yeah, have to complete the pieces part. of the track to move forward. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. what I wonder if it's about. It's like you're repairing this interdimensional. <laughs> train track yeah there's been you issue. Go. that's how you progress anyway anyway cool concept for a survival game got we got our eye on it Flying we'll see shots. what happens in the future yes it's pretty neat pretty yeah. neat i'm gonna check it out it's like making me it's giving me um the uh that atomic heart kind of vibe that game i've been looking forward to for quite some time like art style wise just wacky art and yeah cool well i'm starting to think we went to quit filming arc on thursdays Oh god. It's like yeah. that's usually our record day and it seems like there's an update exactly when we want to play. It every, does every seem week. so. It does. Yeah. Cuz we're updating right now. We came into the office, everything was fine. We started to do the podcast, boom, uh, an update hits. Mine's jumping between 2 hours and like 16 hours right now. And mine's saying 30 minutes, but it was saying 17 minutes a second ago. How many gigs has it uploaded? Uh, mine is nine and a half out of 16 right now. Right. Mine's 1.3 out of 16. But yeah, it's oh annoying. This God. happens on Thursday. And we also yeah. have to update the server. Yeah, you also got yep. slow-ass internet. I'm 13.4 gigs in to my update. You're almost we're, done. Also we're also downloading it uh, on three different PCs here yep. at the office. Oh, uh, yep. that'll do it. But this happens like every, every week, Thursday. it feels like. Know, every and we leave our computers on. We're like, all right, hopefully it'll update by itself. We'll come in. It'll be good. We might move Arc to a Tuesday recording. Yeah, gonna have to. We'll figure it out. Yeah. This isn't your guys' problem. 
and it's not even fun to listen to. Um, Our problems are their problems. Sometimes it's interesting for them to hear stuff. No, don't put that on them, Neebs. That's right. messed up. They <laughs> have their own do. problems. Yeah. Okay. Look, they can take it. I don't know. They want to help. It's kind of hey, a listen, peek behind the scenes here. We've uh. decided we're not going to talk. We've been spending way too much time talking about what we've been watching. We're so not talking no, about that. We're still so talking on games. I know I'm bringing that up. So okay. what, what should we talk about now? Problems. Problems? No. Nope. Everybody's not going to do the problem. Problems. No, let's yeah. not do that. No, let's why not don't do we, personal problems. Why don't we, uh, let's see. So, obviously, Minecraft's uh, coming down um, or winding up uh, or ra- uh, what, what, what is it? What, winding down. Winding, winding, winding down. Um, we've been talking about some scrap stuff. But, yeah, looking at new stuff like this, the void thing and uh, whatnot, we've also been talking about Raft a little bit lately. Mm-hmm. And also grounded. Mm-hmm. What was was grounded? Just had too many bugs, or there's not enough game there. Not enough game. One, yeah, the, 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 it's two issues I have with grounded. I've played it. A um, lot of bugs in it. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I right about that? Yeah. Woo! Woo! But yeah, there's. Uh, I don't think there's enough content yet, and there's no way to disable the HUD and the UI. Oh, because there's no spectator, that's it? You just don't think it's good enough? Not good enough? We can't have a spectator. It's also harder to do transitions and everything, you know, get shots of the world. I look at that and I go, like, that. that's a, a wall that makes it a pain in the ass for the editor. Right, but mm-hmm. what about we just play it then not like a cinematic game? Is it good enough to play not like a cinematic game? I mean, that's certainly a possibility, but it's like if, if I were to do it, I would want to present it in a more cinematic style just because that's how I enjoy cutting a game like that. And it's such a pretty game, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. It's like I, w- I want to see that world without all the fucking UI clutter. Yeah. Now, before the podcast, Abstra and I are looking at Small Lands again. Yeah. And that game looks like it's not out yet. I don't know how long, but it looks awesome. Like, mm-hmm. way better, in my opinion. Well, that's the thing. All the images they have on Steam um, seem old now because they had, uh, I guess they were at some sort of developer conference and they showed off so- the way the game looks. It looks looks really good now. It, like, it has it has that level of polish. It almost looks like Ark. Yeah. With the level of polish they got going on. It looks on, a little more textures. realistic. Yeah. A little grittier. I yeah, don't know. But we saw, we saw what, a guy riding around on a grasshopper, a guy riding around on a rat, so yeah. I guess you were able to tame insects yeah. and animals. Yeah, so. yeah. Sounds great. If we're going to do a sh- uh, uh, your shrunk game, like I'm leaning towards that, but that's not even out yet. I mean, right. So that's right. down the line. That's fine. That's a good but. enough excuse to wait. Yeah. I just but don't. Raft, yeah, Raft just had a huge update. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks and, uh, a lot more robust now, and I am willing to get in. Oh, yeah, I'm certain. Uh, I, I played it since we stopped playing it on the channel, mm-hmm. and they had added a lot more stuff. And I guess, it's, yeah, this and next update. And that was a while ago. Adds, I, it was. And yeah, this, this next update adds even more shit, so. I'm curious. Yeah. My curiosity's peak. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard anyone use robust more than once in my life, except for thick. Or or if you're referring to a pasta sauce. Robust. Oh, yeah. yeah, but I don't I use think of that. is robust a coffee description? No, I think it's no. just a, a, a flavor. Uh, full like, of flavor. Bouncing. Yeah, it's like right. full. It's not yeah. Why wouldn't that be coffee? It's not even right? just a flavor description. Uh, robust is just so full of the definition. Rich and, Full. Yeah, strong and healthy or vigorous, mm-hmm. and then strong and rich in Just flavor bo- or yeah. smell. So it doesn't necessarily have to be describing food. a food. Yeah, I feel like I've heard that with coffee. You, I mean, I could see it used with coffee if it's a strong. Oh yeah, smell. it's like, definitely that yeah, smells it's, really it's, robust. It's been used yeah. like in coffee commercials or or mm-hmm. like a pasta sauce as well. I mean, there's a pasta sauce called Robusto, I think. Like yeah, one of the versions like, of like a ragu robusto well, or something. In, in and, marketing, I get the, that it's a word and it's heard. You don't usually just hear people say it. I'm sorry, I had to point that out. Thick. All right. Yeah, no worries. I I just said it. We you could, know what I was thinking? Vocabulary. Well, go ahead, names. The other day, I was like, "Man, there aren't that many words that start with K, is there? Is that for real? Is that just my brain can't think of a lot of K words? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Tight, kangaroo, probably a ton. Yeah. Colonel. No. No, that starts corn, with the C. Well, it depends on which kernel. Yeah, exactly. Like a popcorn kernel's oh, K. Popcorn okay, right, kernel yeah. is K. All the K. K. Uh, ketamine. You can't forget about Dumbass. the uh, K-N words. Knife. Yeah. Too late. Yeah, don't leave right. those out. That's the yep. problem. You have these C's that confuse you, and then you have a K-N, and you start thinking about those words. Well, I think C, look it up. C's kind of like a hog. It kind of hogs up all the K words, all right. doesn't it? Well, C is a little selfish bitch. C is crazy right. because this like, is, the, it's the crazy. Ha ha. Like, listen, stop it. <laughs> but this is this is real. This Pacific is real. Ocean has three C's in it, and they all have a different sound. Mm. Okay, that's good enough to bring up. But after this, can we stop talking about the <laughs> fucking alphabet? 
3,590 words start with K. Okay. Now, now give me another letter. C. C. Compared to C. <laughs> Oh, see, okay. oh, got it. It's going to be that weird. That makes right. sense. Oh, yeah, see, see, he's going to kill. 26,138. So Neebs, wait. you make a good point then from the beginning. Yeah, there's yeah. only 3,500 3, words. That start with K. Yeah. You shouldn't have had a hard time spattering like 30 of them. So I don't know what mm. the, what you were doing the other day mm. when you're like, I was having a hard time figuring. We just did a whole bunch of Ks, and, and I'm Catch up, but yeah. that's a product. Yeah, but, but it may be the least Kombucha. used first letter in the English language. What about Maybe. Q? Maybe. What about Q? Q? No, oh, and yeah, X. that's a good one. Yeah, I was about, you oh, know, Z, there's, there's a, lot of one, a lot of them towards the end I feel like I never use. You're right. Yeah. 14,000, uh, no, 1,469 Q words. Okay, okay. exactly. Yeah, Put that up against K. X. Go against X. Y? 120. X? Y? X. Yeah, that's, no, the, exactly. that's the lowest. Exactly. 120. Yeah. Xylophone. That's one of the only ones. X-ray. That's it. I got 985 two Y words. Xenophobe. That's great. So this isn't good, That's though. Great. We all we all can agree that whatever it is, we could still be talking about TV shows and it'd be better than this. All right? Well, no, because listen, K is in the middle of the alphabet. Oh, yeah, That's is, where all the popular letters are. I don't this is something that shit. everybody uses. Not everybody watches fucking alone. No, That's I right. know that. Look, but anyway. X, Y, Z, they're, they're the last pick. Okay. But I'll you're, picking, you're picking for dodgeball? Yeah. They got picked last. What I heard oh, yeah, on the playground time. is LMNOP. They're not really hanging out with K. They don't feel like K deserves to be there in that area. So, JK, um, yeah, so right kinda, before Element of P. They mm -hmm. clicked together, left K out. Yeah. How many begin with O, Neebs? How many begin with O? Sure. Stand by. This is Yeah, something. I'm, I'm diving hey, in, man. I'm before you get that in. answer, I feel like maybe you should call this podcast the Robust Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> anybody, anybody want to guess how many O words? Guess? Mm. Not really. Simon? Simon, you love yeah. guessing. Yeah, uh, guess. I'll take a guess. I thought it would be somewhere around the same as K, so maybe like 5,000 or 6,000? Oh. Mm -mm. I, no, I, would say, I would say 25,000. I would say 28,000. 20, 25 and 28, okay. 9,343. Okay. Mm -hmm. I meant 9,000. Yeah, that's what I said first. <laughs> yeah, that's from both of us. You're both insane. I was so <laughs> much closer than you I don't guys. know how to so guess how so many fucking, fucking words exist. That's why I guessed O, because I fucking know it's one of the lower ones. Oh, how about this then? Simon, I want to hear your guess. Okay. S, S words. Go ahead. S words. Okay. Uh, my S words, I'd probably say 23,000. I'm gonna go back to 26 then. I'm going to 25. We're gonna. I yeah. <laughs> Ooh. How many S words? Thirty-three thousand six hundred fifty-seven. Right. Anyway, this I is was a in, champion. I was, in other words, I was pretty close. So anyway, better at it than you, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I was, I was close. How about to that P? One, All right, how about this one? P. P is a good oh, one. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> so uh, my a... number. You go ahead first for P. Who? You. Oh, you say you as if we're in the same room. I'm sorry. Uh, you, the person who responded to me saying you. Uh, there's a cl uh, even thirty thousand. It's the it's the only letter that has for an P? even. For P, yeah, there's 30,000. Okay, you are nuts. 12,000. Uh, 12, you are uh, nuts. Simon, Simon didn't even want to talk about this a second ago. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. What is it? What's he P? He has the strongest opinion. What's P? I'm not going to tell you. Fucking tell me right now. <laughs> <laughs> he said 30,000. What's P? 25,701. Damn, Damn it. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> so it just turned into a betting game for Simon. That's why he got into it. Now, if, if there were gaming channels... House. <laughs> 20 years ago, Simon would be the, the lead of the pack. Oh, hell yeah. Is, or, you know, whatever. Guess guess the color. <laughs> Throw the bag. <laughs> hey, you know what? One, of my, like favorite, one of my favorite games was in the bar. We've talked about this before probably, but maybe there's a chance I didn't. We would guess, like, if I'm sitting at a bar, I'd be like, how long is this bar? Well, the bar probably looks like it's about 20. I'm going to say it's 26 feet, 3 inches. Everyone would yeah. guess the lengths of everything in the fucking bar. And then we and would that's bet got, shots. You guys are all carpenters. That's yes. why you like. Yes. Yeah. A lot of us were carpenters or plumbers. So distance yeah. is very important to us to estimate. Yeah. And you all wear your tape measure to the bar. And we would. Yes, we would all go Pretty right much, from I'm work sure. to the fucking bar. And then we yeah. would eat dinner after we got kind of drunk. And then we'd come back to the bar and then get really drunk. That's you what know what did. you can use a tape measure for effectively at a bar, too, is to kind of pull over someone else's drink to you. Um, without them looking, they're knowing. That's a mm -hmm. strong. That's a strong I was about recoil. To say, yeah, I mean, damn. basket of nuts, maybe. Very carefully. Oh, basket I'm saying, nuts, or definitely. their glasses, or their wallet, whatever. Well, that yeah, little keys. hook. Yeah, maybe the keys, keys definitely. Mm -hmm. yep. 
All right. Well, let's uh, talk more about that. It's also a good way to give your number to somebody that's that it is. <laughs> yeah, put not it close to you. Yeah, push yeah. It out. Slide your number down to the, to the nice lady at the end. Yes. Here you go. Oh, my God. I want to see that character in a show now. He <laughs> uses his tape measure for all that's these. from me. <laughs> Someone tries to intercept it. Nope. Let it keep going. Yeah. We're going not, to the end. It's not for you, fatty. It's for the lady at the oh, end. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's some gold there uh, it's funny yeah. bars is that's the worst place to pick somebody up isn't it when I think so. be? No, I think when your that, judgment's impaired places that are worse. and the lighting's bad I loved yeah. it I thought it was fun I, yeah I think it's fun well you're, sometimes you're just, it works out for you. Uh, you awake is probably a worse place to pick someone up though you, awake's no good yeah there, there are worse places yeah but, um, like if you're at a bar, I don't know. Yeah, you can't assume everyone's a hot mess. Free at clinic. The bar. That's yeah. you know, it's not a. And if you, and you really mine. should wait until later in the evening because then the hot messes really expose themselves. Oh, and then it's you know that's a done deal. You know, yeah. If it's go. if it's two o'clock in the morning, you know, and Susan's fucked up, it's like yeah. all right, I'm not taking Susan home. No, yeah, but but you know, but old Jeannie over there, oh, she's really holding herself together. Unless you're the hot mess. But Jeannie's taking Susan home. That's the problem now. Oh, not, God. Most people go to bars, I guess they're not looking for their soulmate. But for those who are, well, like a, imagine other important decisions in your life, like uh, a loan, a new mortgage. You wouldn't do that, you know, at a bar. It's, no, no. Like you're, you're impairing your judgment. Where's your you brain? Know, and, then, and then you're making a... This is a, why is this a why is this an argument? I shouldn't get pushed back on this. No, I'm. I'm, I'm Should you make an important well, decision in your life at, under at the a influence? bar? No, this no, is just I don't common think that sense happens. Shit, it's not like, I don't know what you're talking like about. This is something that's that's normal. Yeah, I went to a bar to to open a 401k. I was making the comparison of picking a life partner with, say, a life okay. financial decision. Okay, mm-hmm. right. No, I don't. I don't think anybody trying to pick up a lady at a bar is looking mm-hmm. for a life partner. I mean, maybe. That's it, what I said it, at first. Maybe, I, but I opened with that. Many people have found their life partners in a bar. It's happened. Yeah, now, many, 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 many. I have yeah. several friends of mine that met in bars. I've met some of my best friends and some of my best lovers I've met in bars. I and met Simon in a bar. Simon is with us right yeah. now because I because met Simon at a bar. In a bar. A I bought that mother- and that was yeah. a bad decision, wasn't it? Horrible decision. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't pick your friends under the influence. A lot you also got a loan in a bar that night too. A, like man, like two, four out Susie. of ten people might <laughs> might have met their significant other in a bar, restaurant, whatever, like in an alcohol drinking setting. And that's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that. It's nah, a, yeah, like good social setting. Yeah, it's a social setting. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's actually worse to I, I guess like not really. It's worse to hit on somebody at a gym. Oh you know? yeah, that's weird to me. Yeah, that's no, a really yeah. weird. Because because if thing. you get turned well, down, you got to see yeah, that. Don't person. hit. Yeah. Don't hit. Don't open with hitting on somebody. What do you just, do? Just make some telepathically. Just make some contact. You go, hey, <laughs> just start some conversation. You don't go right into hitting. Well, that's hitting. That that's that's hitting on someone to some people. Yeah, even talking to them is like, yeah. Can't you see I got my fucking earbuds in, asshole? Great set. Let's hit the showers. I've met <laughs> people at the gym many times of the opposite sex and just. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just friends. Just yeah. just talking. Yeah, right. yeah, of course. But that's why yeah. that's why when you meet people like I always I I don't I didn't ask people out for dates. How you how you got connected with people or whatever you want to call it was you end up hitting it off with each other in the bar. And then what happens happens. And what's nice about it in the bar is usually I mean, I was respectful and usually that always ended pretty nicely when you like and each you- other in a bar. You also have to like uh, factor in the the many different kinds of bars there are. Like, exactly. for example, when things were normal, and we all know our good friend Bobby, um, his bar is like generally just uh, cool people you would hang out with anywhere. Like, just yeah, more yeah. of just oh, not normal. A club. It's not like this meat market setting kind of. <laughs> You know, yeah. sleazy, clubby bar. Like it's just a, that's kind of a different place. There's more of like a. Um, it's kind of I a local know. bar downtown, right? Yeah. I mean, the way yeah. I looked at it, because all the bars that I went to were small bars that, yeah. if they were packed, they had maybe a hundred people in them, like packed. And usually, uh, when it was busy, there was only fifty people in there. Forty yeah, people. Yeah, good peoples, you know. You know, yeah, and 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 sometimes only fifteen people of the. Same 15 people were probably always there, and I was one of them. Yep, you got your staples. Yep. 
I think the thing that we're missing in this country, it seems like England has a really good like pub scene. Yeah. Like you go there, that's where you're having dinner, that's where you're getting your drinks. It's a it's a community that's there yeah, yeah. every night and it's a really great just uh social outlet. It's also an addictive drug. That's why they're there. They're addicted. Yeah. Poison. <laughs> they're addicted. <laughs> Alcohol is so fucking bad for you and it is so addictive, but yeah, it's fun. I mean they definitely another, got that going on. Another right side of the addiction is being what? addicted to being around people like oh yeah you know, mm-hmm. social butterfly yeah 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 nothing wrong with that it's healthy for mm. some you know yeah usually yeah not right now but no yeah. soon <laughs> not for people <laughs> no. yeah, for people that really enjoy being around people this has been a trying time it's awful yeah so we just went into phase three this last friday or no, no it'll be two fridays ago now i guess uh when this uh, phase three for north carolina that is, and I guess that allowed certain bars that have outdoor areas to open as long as there's like six feet. They've got all this whole capacity rule system, you know. They that's better. And movie theaters too, right? Am yeah. I wrong well, about 30% that? Thirty capacity. Thirty percent. I know some movie theater managers, and uh, they're still not in a good place. No, oh, I'm not, not saying it's, it's, it's the answer, but it, phase three. But well, I don't even think they're going to open though. They're like, oh. well, there's no new, there's no new movies out. Oh, that's there's good not enough to cover the overhead. Probably not going to bother. Yeah. That until makes sense. Later. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, it's a little different now and will it backfire? Who the fuck knows? Yeah. We'll see. That's a, that's the thing though. We're also going into the colder season. Yeah. And you know, like these outdoor bars and everything like I, once the colder season hits and this virus isn't killed as easy with the sun like okay yeah they're gonna move inside this, this might be a little tougher now here's well, a weird argument i keep hearing like people are like ah oh, yeah movie theaters are going away to me that's crazy talk we know because i love now now i know astro is gonna disagree i know with we me know that though but like to me i love movie theaters and maybe it's just me but I know it's not just me. I love movie theaters if it's just me in the movie theater. Right, yeah. Yeah. Come on. But a lot of people love, like, look, if you say, like, Mulan came out on Disney+, Plus and it was, like, what, 30 some dollars? And I get it. You're going to show it to the whole family. But I wouldn't pay that Mm-mm. at home. I would pay for a family to go out for an experience to get. Because you be have to go it, to the movies the to do it. It is a special occasion that you get to go out. But that special occasion these days isn't so special. But I think there's numbers backing this up. Like Mulan didn't do that well with that model. Mm-mm. All the other movies they have that are ready to be released, people are holding on to them because they're gonna they're gonna get that box office surge of money, and then have that you know uh, tier of release moving down the chain. That's what I'm, I hope. I hope movies don't go away. I yeah, love movie I do theaters. too. Because like I, you know, I made it clear. I'm I'm really looking forward to that Dune movie which is mm-hmm, pushed right. to 2021 now, and it just looks like they put all the love in the world into that thing. Like, seeing that just being available in the home when it releases is such a weird concept for something of that scale. Yeah. I'm there, curious. some movies that you want to see on the big screen. Yeah, yeah so I'm really They're curious to it. see where that goes or how that mm-hmm. plays out. And that'll be, you know, next year, and I'm sure a big decision was based on this to push it to then. So they're just, you know feeling it out as well like what do you fucking yeah. do that'd be a weird one to just watch at home it takes a lot of the yeah. magic away and we're so used oh, big to time. The... yeah you you want that imax surround sound yeah. yeah you want you want that feeling yeah and i get that yeah meet I mean, with that's... your buddies have dinner first or yeah something. yeah Pretty imagine... god there's no fucking kids in there imagine like for example like that <laughs> on a weekday if if this was uh if the timing was as such where this uh the virus hit like just before the the new Star Wars movie was gonna. Come. I'm talking the first new one that came out years oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. you know the hype around that. If the timing was of such, I wonder how that would have gone down. You know. Yeah, I wonder that too because like you know Mulan. Like, aren't you excited to see Mulan live I'm action? Like, no, yeah, not really. That. That I want to see it. Don't you want to pay thirty bucks for it? No, mm-hmm. hell no. Nah. But if it was Star Wars back then, I thought it was free, and I and it still took me a while to click on it. And then I'm like, oh, I'm not paying shit for this. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, you said, uh, Dora, like if it were the newest Star Wars movie, when Back there hadn't been when, a Star Wars movie yeah. in 20 years. Or that Endgame. Pay. Yeah. Or yeah, something like Endgame. It's like, fuck it, we're going to put Endgame yeah. uh, on here. Would I pay 30 bucks for it? I wonder how that would have gone down. Ugh. 20 I might. 30, see, that's a, that's the thing. To me. 30 is asking a lot. And like, because you, I get it. It's like you're showing it to a bunch of people. When you, That's but true. Damn. That's true. But damn, 30 yeah, bucks. But you should act as if you're only showing it to two. 
I think twenty dollars is a fair price to pay for something. Because but, it's I mean, like buying the DVD me. in the end, you know? Right. No, and I guess their idea is it is cheaper, like, if, you know, taking three people out to a movie theater, that's more than 30 bucks. Easy. But you can't assume everybody's going to have that. Yeah, you might be alone. They should maybe just assume it's two people, and if you're alone, get get a friend. That's the numbers they got to figure out, you know? Yep. Yeah. 20 to me, it seems like it. Like, I, that's, that's a little easier on the but wallet. If it was Endgame, would you have argued 30? If it, if it was Endgame... You know what? If it was in game, I'd have four or five people over, and then yeah, 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 yeah. make bill. an experience like yeah, yeah, a get together. Mm -hmm. All COVID, Social, socially distance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those. Uh, but I would say that uh, I get what you're saying. End game, these big freaking films. You yeah, the sound. Where it's hard I to imagine it. it but not. there's a lot of all. Like I'd also, if I had a 75 inch screen in front of me and some decent surround sound, in I'd rather have I think that experience. Yep. Then go into like if I could have that in my own home, just a really big and even bigger than that. But these days, you know, in freaking just a few years now, the the home theater systems are going to be less than a thousand dollars and it's going to be fucking amazing. Oh, they're already pretty cheap for and some the wonderful surround shit. sound in your room right now. It can be really amazing. So I just think technology is going to take over that. And now we're all going to have these. You know, it's going to be theaters are going to be for other people. There's a lot to be said for uh, pausing something and to take a leak. Yeah, a lot. Mm -mm. There's no, a lot to be part said of the game. for. No, yeah, I know. No, no, I know. No, fuck that. no, when you got the shits, you can't see a movie when you got the shits one day because you go, oh, I might, I'm going to go to the bed the three times. You could pause it. I mean, the convenience uh, to make a sandwich. Don't go to the movie theater when you got the shits. But just, they just came out. The shits? It's Endgame. The I got to see Endgame. <laughs> Listen, I got to see how they beat Thanos. Listen, I think that I think it's an <laughs> archaic thing that's going to be more like, a, oh, look, this look, we should go to Disney. They have a movie theater. You know, I think eventually movie theaters are just going to. You and know. that's what I started with. There's that crotchety yeah. group of the public that thinks that <laughs> I want technology. And then there's the rest of us. I want technology, baby. Here's what I want. I mean, the, the movie theater experience is great. I want smaller rooms, maybe even smaller screens, with good sound, comfortable seats that I can rent out for a reasonable price, and just watch the movie I want. Well, just um, watch it at home then. Yeah, no, what's the difference? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, you have to have like the room and the space at home. With my own kitchen, it's yeah. called your living room. Bathroom. It's called your living room. I know it's, it's called living room. Not everybody has, has, has a setup at home. Well, you you can get one. Absro. Why aren't right. you like uh, projecting movies in your backyard yet? You've got such a good backyard for that. I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. no, I, what's I wrong with get you? a projector? They're cheap these days, or like cheaper. You can oh, rent them I, like I the just... blow up ones for kids. My friend just did that for his son's birthday party. Pretty badass, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now they do that out of the pavilion where I live. They uh, every now and then they get one of those big blow up screens and they'll project like shitty kids movies on it. Mm -hmm. Fun F for the children. Fun. Come watch Minions Three, kids. As I. Tear my fucking eyes you out. You love minions. Oh, I know you love hate minions. Hate them. Hate them. Thursday night's little shit night, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> little shit <laughs> night down at <laughs> the pavilion. Yeah. <laughs> Drive by, all you hear is. <laughs> As I just like, then I, then I just turn the wheel of my car and drive them all over. Wow. Okay. Hey, did, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, <laughs> we have two murderers in our crew. Yeah, Astro sus. Astro just. You guys should do a collab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're so robust. Gonna get those documents. Gonna get those documents. Look at me flying way up in the sky. Everyone jealous at my back and fly. Gonna get those documents. Yeah.